good morning children today uh, we will start a new chapter that is chapter 4 heat uh wait chapter is heat heat means transfer of energy transfer of energy from one medium to another transfer of energy from one medium to another that is what we called heat there are many ways to transfer of heat like uh, conduction radiation and uh, convection later on we will discuss these things but you should know what is heat heat is a transfer of kinetic energy from one medium to another or one object to another in fact you said to be clothes are made from yeah like uh, uh, wool we get from camel we can get wool from <coughs> like woolen clothes so we can get the wool from camel yak goat ya goat we can uh, take fibers from these animals so wool and cloth are animal fiber or it is also can call it a natural fiber okay you also know that cotton cloths are made from plant fibers I mean two things cotton cloths are obtaining from cotton balls or fruit of cotton plants so cotton cloths are plant fiber while woolen cloths are animal fiber we wear woolen cloths during winters when it is cold outside because woolen cloths keep us warm why because woolen cloths having space in it and in this space heat is packed heat is stored that keep us warm and we prefer to wear light color cotton cloths when it is hot because these cotton cloths protect us from hot like we prefer white cotton shirt why because white is a light color and it reflect the light it does not absorb too much light so we prefer cloths according to the weather according to the climate these give us a feeling of coolness means woolen cloths you need to keep you your uh, to keep warm to keep your body warm and cotton cloths we wear coolness you might have wondered why particular types of cloths are suitable for particular season because these cloths having a different properties in winter you feel cold inside the house if you come out in the sun you feel warm why because heat is transfer from sun to you it is transfer and because of heat you feel warm how do we know whether the object is hot or cold how do we find out how hot and cold an object is the difference na in first question you have to identify whether the object is hot and cold but in second part you have to identify how hot ki kitna garm hai ya kitna ye thanda hai in this chapter we shall try to see answer to some of these questions we will study this first hot and cold in our day to day life we come across many number of uh, objects some of them are hot while others are cold for example ice cream is cold yeah spoon in a tea cup it is hot fruit juice cool handle of a frying pan this is hot means some objects are cold while other objects are it's is cold while other objects are cold like ice 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 cream is cold tea is tea is hot so 
spoon in tea cup is also hot is number 6 wait by mistake it is gone it is gone okay uh, but my question is can we identify these objects hot and cold by simple touching it your answer will be no because some objects if we touch them then we can uh, it can harm us okay so i i uh, suggest you not to touch the hot object to identify whether it is hot or how much hot is it so we need a quantity or we need some instrument like thermometer etc to identify the object whether the object is hot or not okay now the piece is coming yes i just take it this side yeah in our day to day life we come across so many objects some of them are hot while others are cold yes tea is hot and ice is cold list some object you you need to in table 4.1 we have discussed do not touch objects which too hot be careful while handling a candle flame or stove because you can harm your body we see and that some objects are cold while some are hot so no some objects are hotter than others some are more hot how do we decide which object is hotter than the other we often do it by touching the object but in our sense of touch it is is it reliable no our sense of touch is not reliable something we feel it is hot but it it is not hot for this thing activity 4.1 is given take three small tabs take three small tabs label them as a b c pour cold water in mug a hot in b cold in first cold water then hot water and then cold and hot mixer neither hot not cold okay some uh, now dip your left hand in mug a and your right hand in mug b after keeping the hands in the two mug first mug is cold water first second mug is hot water and third is moderate water yes now put both the hand simultaneously in mug b this is cold water when you put your hand in cold water after 2 3 minutes if you put your hand in uh, last mug then you feel it warm means by simple touching you cannot feel this is cold similarly in second mug this is containing uh, this contain it contains hot water uh, if you put your hand in hot water not not too much hot okay and then your last mug then you feel it is cold it means that we cannot identify it is not reliable by simple touching it my left hand tells me that the water is mug c is hot and the right hand tells me that the some water same water is cold what should i conclude i conclude that by simple touching we cannot identify the object it is not reliable sometime we are confused that we cannot really on our sense of touch to decide whether an object is hot or cold means on the basis of sense of touch sometimes we cannot decide whether the object is hot or cold sometimes it may deceives us then how do we find out how hot an object really is a reliable measure of hotness of an object is its temperature means hot or cold we can identify by its temperature temperature is measured by a device that is called thermometer means by using thermometer we can identify how hot and cold the object is and by using temperature we can identify the object is hot or cold okay this is our topic
and the next video we will discuss about measuring temperature how can we uh, measure temperature so thank you thank you all